Some of the places used to go to, absolutely awful, absolutely terrible. There was a lot of glamour to it. It was a total change in routine, chance to see the unknown. The Iron Curtain still existed in those days, so it was trips into Berlin, to Checkpoint Charlie, in many occasions to play the East German teams, Dresden, people like this. So yeah, and a lot of clubs you'd never even heard of. Bob was always wary of what um, tricks they might get up to, the foreigners. He called them the foreigners. They could be from anywhere, but he called them the foreigners. He said, don't eat the food, don't drink the tea. I remember him going to Dresden, and somebody started to um, pour the tea at half-time from this uh, teapot. He said, Nip, you're not drinking that. It's bloody drugged. We've been on the, on, on the bus for a couple of hours, and we were desperate to have a, have a cup of tea. Don't drink it, like, you know. He was always wary of what other people might be doing. And everybody started laughing at this. And then he said, I don't know what you're laughing about. The dressing room's bugged as well. <laughs> and, and so he took us outside for our team talk and everything. I think uh, Trabzon Sport is remembered for all the wrong reasons by everybody that was on the trip because it was probably the most difficult trip Liverpool had had for quite some time. And uh, Bob Paisley came out with the infamous phrase of, uh, they've put us in a DOS house. You know, we were in the best hotel in Trabzon, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite like the best hotel in, in Paris or something like that. Tom Saunders had already gone out and, and inspected the so-called hotels. He said there was only three worthwhile. Well, I, I hate to see the others. We got upstairs, me and Callie, me and Callie were rumoured together, and the uh, wardrobe door was open, closed it. Mm. Opened, closed it. Mm. Put your sh bag behind that, Cal, keep it closed, you know. Looked them, uh, just behind the bed. I mean, in the night, if you're stretched up, you, there's live wires, no lights in them, you know. There's a, there's a little dressing table with two six-inch nails in the back of it <laughs> to keep it. Then the curtains wouldn't come across and there's like a big gap. And it was, there was difficulty preparing food in the kitchens. The, uh, the two guys that the, the, uh, the, the club had decided to take on the trip to, to just sort of oversee the, the catering facilities uh, had to take control of, of, what, of our dietary needs. And um, I think for those 48 hours or so that we were in Trabzon, we lived on, on chips and, um, and deep fried meat. I remember being dished up um, some horrible um, like beetroot soup in Poland. And he took one look at it, pre-match meal, and he went, my players, um, they're not, no, take it back. People said, God, you must have seen Europe so many times. You've been to this country, you've been to that country. We never get a chance to see it. It was, a, it was a hotel room, game of cards, play the game, back on the plane, thank you very much, back, at, back to Liverpool.